Life is very crazy. And we all get reminders of that all the time. Um, just yesterday, I got a huge reminder of that. My son, he loves Legos, lo loves Legos like crazy. This dude will build anything with Legos. Uh, he built animals, built people. This dude even built a gas station before out of his Legos. And like they had different pumps and stuff and then a little convenience store. It was crazy. But anyway, so yesterday, I was at Target and I got him this Lego set. Spider-Man Lego set, all that. The whole little setup, all the different Spider-Mans, Venom and all that. And then I saw his reaction to it. He was like, oh, ooh, is, this, is this for me? I was like, yeah. He's like, oh, is it for you? Is it for mommy? No, I said it's for you. So he was like, ah, whatever about it. But then I bought him a whoopee cushion set because we were just on vacation and we went to a little arcade and he got a whoopee cushion that he loved, but then it got a hole in it. But I bought him a whoopee cushion set, three of these, and he was all hyped over like, oh, yeah, let's go. So life is strange like that. But somebody else that life is strange for is Antonio Brown. Uh, and Antonio Brown, he finds himself on the outside looking in when it comes to him being on a team yet again. This Hall of Fame wide receiver. Now, when he does retire, it's, it's going to be tough for him to get into the Hall of Fame. Obviously not because of numbers. He got all the numbers and then some when it comes to that. But because of all the other stuff, that's what's going to make it so hard for him to get on a, get on a, uh, on the, 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 the ballot, the, the, the list, the official Hall of Fame. Um, this, the Bucks finally released Antonio Brown. Why they took so long to do it, I'm not sure. But they finally released Antonio Brown. I remember after watching uh, the whole thing at the Bucks and the Jets game where he took the jersey off. I remember watching it that day when it happened. Because we were in here streaming the, the Ravens and Rams game. But I, st I saw the video of when it happened. And I was like, oh, yeah, he, he, he's released. He, he's gone. He's, he's getting cut today. And then I was questioning, like, man, I don't even know if he'll be on the same plane with the team. I don't, I don't even know if he'll, be, if he'll fly back with them. Because that would be really awkward. Like, he just did all that. Took his jersey off and threw it up in the stands. Threw his gloves and all that. Waving to the fans on the field and all that. And to fly back with the team. I don't know about that one. And we know he could afford his own da da da, da but, um, but then Bruce Arian said, he, nope, he's he not with us. He's not on the team. And it was like, okay, yeah, that was expected. But the Bucks, they hadn't made any moves. And a day went past. Monday came and went, nothing. Tuesday came and went, nothing. Wednesday came and went. The first day of practice, they were like, oh, uh, he's, it's not injury-related why he's missing practice. So then today came, and now they've officially... Uh, released, um, they've officially released Antonio Brown. Now, of course, Antonio Brown, like, he has not had, I don't think he's had one pretty ending to any of his football relationships. I really don't. Steelers, we know how that got. It got really ugly, nasty. It just ugh, got to a big yikes. With the Raiders, oh, man, that was just, ugh, that was wild. With the Patriots, once, I think it was once some allegations had came out. Then they were like, ah, oh, you know, we're straight. Cut them. And then, uh, yeah. And then with this, with the Bucks, another ugly ending. And you know what's crazy? I, I, I remember when, when this first went down, when, when we were first watching the video of all this happen, I, um, I was thinking, and I said it too, I was like, man, I, I, I think that might be it for Antonio Brown. I think that might be a wrap. That that might be it. But if he still continues to play, like, cause we've seen him do craziest, like, the, even though this was like, this was something like serious, right? I mean, you can say some of the other stuff that he's done is serious, but to like literally leave the team in the middle of the game, leave, walk off the field. But I, like we talked about at the beginning of this video, life is crazy. So, I really now wouldn't even be surprised if he still got signed to somebody else's team. If he did now, there would probably be no guarantees on that deal. And there were a lot of rumors about Antonio Brown and, um, and why he was so frustrated, uh, why he was upset. I know there were some rumors like, oh, because uh, some people said, oh, it's because he was injured. I think that's the side, that the, that's what coming from Antonio Brown's side, that he was injured, but Bruce Arians wanted to put him in the game anyway. He didn't want to go. Then some people saying, oh, because it's incentives, because he was so close to getting his incentives, uh, like all these 333,000 
uh, incentives that would have got him to a million when it came to catches. I think he needed a, a couple more catches, like maybe six more, something like that. Maybe one more touchdown and, and something else. I forgot what the last one was. There's a lot of different stories and whatnot. And then, of course, after the fact, you know, you know with Antonio Brown, it's, it's, it's just never, it's never a release and that's it. You know, Antonio Brown, you got to get his side of the story out, too. Of course, today up on uh, Instagram, he put up the Home Alone thing. But um, he had Tom Brady and Bruce Arians on that cover. Photoshop, you could do some crazy things, man. Um, and, and then uh, he put out that long statement. I'm going to be real with y'all. I, I did not read it at all. I, I, I had planned on reading it, but I, I, I didn't read it at all. Um... They uh see Adam Schefter just said Antonio Brown and his agent requested that the remaining two million dollars in incentives of his contract for this season be guaranteed. So they, they tried to change the incentives of his contract uh last week. So they were trying they were like, hey, make that guaranteed. So if, if anything is guaranteed, then that means it has to be paid. Uh but the GM said no. Um so that's big. I think Adam Schefter just said something else too. He said um, at halftime during the game against the Jets, Antonio Brown was agitated about not getting the targets he was expecting during the game, and he had to be calmed down. So it's unfortunate, man. It's unfortunate that it's another ugly ending, uh, especially like you're so close. Like I, 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 I know I feel like there has to be more because why if because I'm, I'm sure his, his, his incentives weren't just – for week 16 it's usually for the entire year so he still had another week to get it um but i don't know if the bucks are gonna rest their starters next week or what but he had another week to get it and it's like man you just you, you were so close so close so i feel like it just it has to have been more it has to have been more right so i i would hope um the bucks they uh you, call, you know teams gotta release a statement well, they don't have to but these big releases like this they they, they issue a statement usually Anyway, it says, um, they said, uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have terminated the contract of Antonio Brown, effective immediately. While Antonio did receive treatment on his ankle and was listed on the injury report the week leading up to last Sunday's game, he was cleared to play by our medical team prior to the start of the game, and at no point during the game did he indicate to our medical personnel that he could not play. We have attempted multiple times throughout this week to schedule an evaluation by an outside orthopedic specialist, yet Antonio has not complied. Maintaining the health and wellness of our players is the utmost importance to our organization. So um, that is basically the, the Bucks uh, clearing their name, saying, look, that's that's on him, uh, not on us. <laughs> we tried. He got cleared. That's not on us. And also it says that uh, the the Bucks, it says Antonio Brown didn't tell anybody on the Bucks medical staff about his ankle bothering him on game day. Uh, before the game against the Jets or during it, uh, per the, the Bucks GM. Said the Bucks made what they call reasonable accommodations to bring this matter to a close early this week if, in fact, Antonio Brown had an injury from the game and the wide receiver declined to cooperate. Uh, Bucks could have set up those appointments in Tampa, but they knew Brown was in New York and they believed they were trying to oblige him. Brown and his agent declined to send the Bucks his medical information from their doctor visit this week and still have not returned their calls. Oh... A mess. <laughs> a mess. This uh, situation is just a mess. Um, but the Bucks, they say, you know what? Even though this is a mess, we are going to keep our hands and our name and our faces clean of the situation. Uh, I know there, it was some, there was some belief that if the Bucks were to release an Antonio Brown, that they might be hesitant on it um, because there may be other teams that try to put in a claim for Antonio Brown. Uh, I don't think there would be any claims put in for him, um, but because he does have to pass through the waiver wires. So um, with him, he'll be released today, probably at 4 p.m. officially. So you have to clear through waivers. Um, and then tomorrow by 4 p.m. we would know on Friday by 4 p.m. we would know if anybody put in a claim for him. I don't expect anybody to um, because they would have to pick up the, remain the remainder of his contract, which is not much, but they will still have to pick up the remainder of his Bucks contract. I believe it's a one-year deal. I forgot the, the how much guarantee. And I know it's not much guarantee, but still got those incentives. But if anybody, so I don't think anybody's going to pick him up, but if anybody decides to sign him after he clears waivers, then I believe that's how somebody would do it because they will want Antonio Brown on their own terms, not on the Bucks. 
And even though the the terms of the Bucks deal is not much, but they if they wanted Antonio Brown, they would want him on their own terms. But I I don't know. I don't think anybody's gonna sign him this season. Oh, it's a week left, and then of course we got playoffs and anything is possible, but I don't think anybody's gonna sign. I think the earliest that he would get signed would be uh during the off season. Um and yeah, I just I just don't see it happening right now. So, and he actually has a head start on free agency because he doesn't have to wait and he won't have to wait until if he doesn't get signed before then he won't have to wait until the middle of March when free agency officially starts. He can sign whenever he wants to since the Bucks they'll be releasing. So, good for him, I guess. So, anyway. Um I know Kodak Black Kodak Black was on his uh, IG live uh, I think yesterday saying that Antonio Brown should have went to the Ravens. Um and who who knows what would have happened if he would have went would have went to the Ravens. Uh I think he would have had a lot of fun. Um a lot of his boys there. Shout out to the Florida Ravens. You already know what time it is. Um but that's something that we'll never know and we'll never find out. Um we never thought that he the Ravens would sign him. Um there was sometimes back then when I did hope that they would. I, I I really did because I'm like, oh, I, I know he can still play. I know he can play and da da da. da. And some people are like, oh man, he be bad for the locker room. Oh, yeah, he would be fine. So it is what it is, though. So we'll see what happens with Antonio Brown next. See whenever he gets picked up by a team, if he does in the future. But like I said, I, I don't expect it to be this season. Not even for playoffs by anybody. Um, but next season I could see somebody. Uh, possibly making that move. So just like Antonio Brown is when it comes to being on the Bucks roster, I'm out.